We've just had a baby and posted all the fun for you. looking around today we're jumping a few months into the future oh there's so much sand <laughs> oh my god we haven't really put her on a video recently there was like oil it's time to head to the boat but we've had a glitch i'm checking for any oil leaks ready to break down in the middle of nowhere let's do it we just welcomed our newest daughter Bryn into the family our plan is to stop filming over the next few months so that we can enjoy these precious first days. We've allowed our episodes to get a little behind so we can do just that without a break in the videos for you. What we got is the, the cord clamp and then we're out of here. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Good. It feels nice to not be pregnant and have the baby. I yeah. just feel like I'm getting back to my normal size even though I'm still swollen. Good. But yeah. The worst part about it is the carpal tunnel that I have from it. That should go away from when the swelling goes down. Yeah. She's bigger than Ray. You're okay. <laughs> so you're gonna have a little fall baby. We're staying in California for a while so we can be around family and so she can be around her doctor just in case anything comes up. It was time to take her home to the RV. Her hair turned black. All right, now look. It's just, oh, we're getting it wet. Reese jumped right in. He loves her. Oh, Brynn, that's so nice. You're washing her hair for the first time. Come on, Reese. Please leave me alone and <laughs> let me sleep. <laughs> I'm only like this when it's not time for bed. But when it's time for bed, I'll be wide awake. <laughs> <laughs> a few months later, the time had come to start making our way to the boat. Our first stop along the way was White Sands, New Mexico, where things didn't go as planned. When I went to unhook the Jeep today, there was like, like oil, like a weird film, like splattered all over the front of the Jeep at the bumper and even up on the windshield. And you touch it, it's like oil. And I was like, oh, I need check some must be leaking under the rv so i checked the oil engine oil and it's good and i checked the transmission oil and it looks low like pretty low <laughs> okay broken down in new mexico that's what that looks like life of a traveling family we got to new mexico today say hi reese hi yeah. <laughs> And we noticed we took the Jeep off the back of the RV from towing. There was some type of oil. The National Park told us we had to be out by 6. We cannot stay overnight. It's Saturday. All the shops are closed. This happened at like, we got back around Saturday, 5, 4 or 5. All the repair shops are closed, not open till Monday. The ranger told us we had to be outside the gates by 6. We called my dad. He's a truck driver been working with this kind of stuff, um, Freightliner type stuff since he was 16, most of his life. He's like, just throw any oil in there to get you out of the situation. Um, so we went and got, what is it, DEFCON 3 or something? No, it's um, definition oil. DEF 3? Yeah, no, Def definition oil. I, I don't know, we don't know. <laughs> All right, we're gonna drive down there on a disc, okay? Yeah, I'll drive behind you. Yeah, um, look for like, it looks like mist, smoke, like a look like a smoke, right? Mist, something coming out from the back. Okay, I'm gonna uh, put her in her car seat. Okay. So I'm like, oh crap, are we leaking transmission fluid? I look, I'm, I am see a leak. I don't know if this is happening when we're going up hills or you know, high pressure, I don't know. So I'm riding behind them. I'm checking for any oil leaks, smoke, anything like that. This wasn't cool. We're far from home and didn't want to be stranded. And then I look at the Jeep, and I noticed that the oil is like hardening. It's like, it's like crust on it. It's weird. I'm like, I've never seen oil like this. You know, no, oil doesn't crust once it gets on something. I don't see any leaking or smoke or anything. Yeah. That's good. At least we can get to an RV spot. So I'm sitting here, we were just talking about it. And I was like, you know what? Earlier today, we went to Pilot Fuel Station. Right? Yes. And we had some people in front of us, and they were like interesting people. 
uh, they they took forever. They come out with these bags, all these bags of like goodies and stuff like that. They get in the truck and they drive away right before us. And then we go and we come around the corner and we're moving up and I'm probably going like 30 and all this, all those, all their trash is in the middle of the road. So I guess they took their bags and threw it out the, the window. Um, but, and there's a Tupperware container in the middle of the road. And I saw this Tupperware, Tupperware container and I was like, I couldn't avoid it. And I was like, I'm just going to go straight over it, plastic Tupperware. And I went over it and we have a mud flap back there. And it, I looked back and I saw it like just disintegrate the, the Tupperware. So I'm thinking that what's all over the Jeep was actually from the Tupperware. It's like a grease or like a salad dressing, maybe like hamburger, yeah. gr I don't know. Yeah, and so I'm thinking that was what's on the Jeep. So that's actually food or something. And uh, the transmission has just been slowly weeping fluid and I just need to add some more. So really you should be thankful for those people in front of us that drove us nuts well, today. No, it. Right? You should check that stuff. Okay, well, nobody's doing that. Nobody's doing that. Maybe once a month. I look at this like my vacation for maintenance because the boat has so much maintenance. Oh. This shouldn't be this, you know. All right, well, you've been talking too long. It's four minutes and I've been holding the phone up That's while I'm breastfeeding. Video. I love you. <laughs> Hi. Oh, what was that? Ah! What is that? What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> the next morning, we went back to the dunes. Yesterday sucked. Let's do it over. We're now headed back to the sand dunes. Yeah. You gonna enjoy it this time? Yeah, I think so. We're just gonna take the RV back there. Check it out. It was a little bumpy, but the RV's been through worse. I went four wheeling up a mountain in Palo one time, so. Oh, with the RV? Yeah, I floored <laughs> it. It just held on. It's like. Yeah. And I didn't realize that there was a gift shop that we could go into, so we'll check to see if there's a sled there. I thought it was just a front office. Yeah. What you doing, twirling that thing? She won't realize we're there, but she's been there. Are you feeling good about the transmission now? Yeah, I'm gonna check the oil over there. I was seeing some oil rising. It only took about three and a half quarts, so the thing holds like 20 some quarts, so it's not a big deal. Um, I'm gonna check it while it's hot. I checked it in cold and it's good. Um, I'll check it when it's hot, make sure it rise, it's supposed to rise a little bit, and then uh, let's continue on. Instead of leaving it as a stressful memory, we wanted to go redo the visit. The first step was to find a new snow saucer. I am. I go. Look around. Oh, look. Switch. Sand discs. Used or new. We can buy used for $20. 25. Return disc for five dollars. Got your sled. Go back there, grab a sled. Blue's the best. Boy, thank you. They say you can sled down the dunes here. We figured it'd be a cool thing to do, even if it was overpriced. Guess how much it was? 20 bucks. 25. You gotta be kidding me, dude. The used ones were- 25 dollars for a used that's you, you should have said, look, it's all scraped up. The used ones are 20. They're just saying it's not used. It was used. Look at the bottom. New slow no, saucers. Are... That's a new, I don't know. I think the whole, I don't know. At least you don't have to pay to get in. I think that was 30 something. Yeah. Probably more for an RV. The military, uh, keep for miracle beautiful military national park yeah. card, man. It's awesome. You were military, previous military, disabled or something. Probably. This thing's amazing. It saved us hundreds of dollars. Yellowstone was like 30 bucks every day. We went five days in a row. Private vehicle, motorcycle, I can't see. No. $80, I think, is said for a bus. Entrance station closed. Please take a map. It's free today anyway. So, um, that all went up. For this thing. That's <laughs> you take a little road back to the dunes. There's no cell service here, so get all your facts before you go. Can you tell me anything about this place? Uh, the first atomic detonation in the world was about 100 miles north of here. Sometimes they close it for missile testing. Well, this is in the missile range, right? So Route 70. Route 70 goes right through the White Sands missile range, which looks like this grass stuff, just flat forever to like mountains and stuff. And you can see all these like little missile towers and like 
you know, the tanks and all these different little sites all through there. That was really cool. And then you come to this dune, White Sands Dunes, which are right in the middle of that. It's pretty neat. Lots of history here. Plus, it's stunning. So we have a bit of a dilemma because we have to be back by a certain date to Florida. And with the hiccup with the RV transmission thing and, you know, all that stuff, it, like, puts a strain on us to push, push, push. So last night we were sitting there drinking some wine and Jeremiah's like, I can just fly back. You know, I'll fly back, take care of what we need to take care of and then fly back to you and Brandon and I can even take Reese with me and go on like a little boy's adventure. And I was like, you know what? Maybe we should do that. Slow down and enjoy it rather than push, push, push because we're missing all this stuff. So that's why this morning we kind of got up and we're like, let's go back and enjoy the sand dunes. Reese and I got to enjoy it very quickly. We were rushed because the sun was setting and we had to take care of the RV, but Jeremiah was just stressing the whole time. And of course we had no service, so he was just sitting in the Jeep trying to search for service so um, I think that's kind of what we're gonna do plans are changing daily right now today we're going to just focus on enjoying the white sands all right at the white sands missile testing range and Reese is about to sled down a dune How was it? Good, it's made of crystals. Yeah, you wanna show me? Sure. Yeah. So what you do is you take this, you shuffle it, try to find a little black spot. I think the, all right of there. it is, I think it's all ground up crystals. No. No, okay. Right there, you barely see it. Beautiful. These dunes are so white. It's not sand. It's actually made of gypsum. <laughs> the sledding was okay. I'm sure there were better spots, but the baby is sleeping, so we couldn't go too far. How was that? Oh, oh Sandy. Oh, there's so much sand. I know, it's sand everywhere. Oh my gosh. Gypsum is actually a clear substance. The dunes appear white like snow because the grains are constantly banging into each other. The scratches then reflect the sun's rays, making them appear white. How's the baby? We haven't really put her on a video recently. She's four months old now. I know. Well, we took some time to just enjoy her and take some time away, and we had to like learn each other. Yeah. I no, it's good. In the filming mindset. Well, we should put her on there. Yeah. We put her on the sled. She does a lot of breastfeeding, so she'll be on there because I'm always breastfeeding. It's like nonstop. My shirt's falling apart. He's clearing a path for me right now. After a few hours and a picnic lunch, we decided it was time to clean up and head on. Coming up. When's the last time you washed the RV? Texas has had some severe winter storm. We'll get back on board our lovely lady, Calypso. First time on Calypso. Say hi, Bryn. It's time to get settled into boat life once again. Oh my God. I know, and we have a, and we have a door here. So we can, we can actually have sex. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.